Hello everyone, and welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Yoshimi. You may notice the change in scenery from the first episode. That's because this episode is being hosted in the Robloxian Myth Hunter's Places to Investigate Teleporter. The way this place works is that you can pull a lever and the teleporter chooses one of currently 153 total places in its database. Once a place has been chosen, you enter the door and prepare to investigate the mystery place given. So rather than seeking out these hidden places throughout the internet, I'm going to let the teleporter choose where I go. Join me tonight as we continue to delve deeper into the dark underground of some of Roblox's most terrifying places. Pulsations is a place that holds a strange energy. Upon entering, I am greeted by several platforms connected to each other. The central platform contains several pews and odd formations protruding from the ground. On a bench sits three figures, one transparent, one completely pitch black, and the other appears to share the same texture as the grass. Further exploring led me to stumble upon a cave under the central platform with more ominous figures. Walking around the cave, I was suddenly teleported to what appeared to be a large cathedral with two more entities, one of which appeared to have a clock for a head. Contained within the cathedral are three doors that lead to a few different worlds, two of them teleporting you to either a completely black or completely white world, of which you cannot exit it unless you reset. The third room leads to a prison or holding area of sorts. It is run down, broken, and long forgotten to time. Bodies lay in the cells next to you, and a ladder only leads further down into its ominous depths. Odd paintings line the walls, and a floating text asks, why aren't you taking care of yourself? Walking past the paintings down the long dark hallway leads to an almost pitch black room only containing a stream of seemingly random letters. However, upon further inspection, it appears to be a dot onion link, but it is not entirely known what it leads to. Rumor has it though that it contains images of real gore and dead bodies, and sources claim that those same images can be found in earlier versions of the game. Could this be what the paintings replaced? Picture this, you are stuck in a confined environment with no way out. Cage is a game that appears to be just a place someone made as a means to troll or something. However, it goes a little bit deeper than that. You see, there is actually a way out of this cage, but it's not easily seen. Even I had to consult a guide for this one, so thank you to Corky for their video on YouTube regarding this place. So apparently, there is a small click trigger in one of the corners of the cage. It had taken me a little while to find, but after discovering it, a hole in the roof had opened but freedom was not guaranteed. After escaping the first cage, I was immediately thrown into another cage. With all hope fading, I saw a figure in the distance approaching the cage. The figure came bearing a note. Look behind you, it said. Another opening, this time leading to a strange monolith containing another switch, opening the other side of the second cage that led to a platform with trees. Suddenly, the island began to extend further and further until red droplets fell from seemingly thin air. In an instant, another figure arose from the liquid and disappeared. Pressing on, I had been greeted by a strange architecture with no clear sign on actually how to press on. Insulting the guide again, there is another trigger at the far end of the area near a small building. Stepping on this trigger, I was met with another island containing what appeared to be a grave of sorts. The phrase, the dead man walks on, etched into the ground. Turning back, I noticed a large tower had erected itself. Atop of the tower stood the figure from before, blood covering and draining down the tower. It is not entirely known what the meaning behind Caged is, and there are very few sources of information on it. Needless to say, there is something weird at play here. Do you have a fear? of heights. If so, tower may not be for you. The air is cold, and death can be quick. Awakening on the tower, the first thing I noticed was how dilapidated and decaying it was. Objects fall from the tower, and a dark ashy smoke fills the air. Off in the distance, another tower, this time much more grim. Two bodies hang from the tower, indistinguishable as anything specific. I pondered what caused the fate of these two as I attempted a closer examination. Could they have done this to themselves, or am I not alone on this tower? There appeared to be a third tower emerging from the mist, but I could find no way of getting to it. Nowhere left left to turn, I had concluded by investigation. A lonely street on a dark night. Not much can be said about revenge other than it has a weird feeling, like you are being watched. 
like you are not alone. This is the realm of the equally mysterious Bobby Colt, who is a part of the Colt family, one of the most well-known groups of myths in Roblox history that ultimately deserve their own video on them. However, with Bobby Colt not being very active anymore, it is unclear if we may ever encounter them on this lonely street anytime soon. A drab tree stands long forgotten against a great stone cave. Tomb of the Great Oak delivers a rather somber feeling compared to the previous entries on this list. It is hazy, gray, unfamiliar. Beyond the tree lies a hidden cave. Entering though, I had unfortunately been met with nothing of interest. Backtracking, I was met with a sight akin to my time spent in Urkiti's place. A body hanging from a tree. Upon closer examination, I was quickly hustled away to a new place. A strange, circular area full of gray streets structures that looked like dead trees, rusted metallic objects long lost to time, and a gigantic humanoid figure floating above the area, casting an ominous shadow with no answers in sight. One day, things change. A cabin sits in an abandoned wheat field. A small cemetery lies behind it, possibly containing those who once inhabited these lands. The sky changes drastically from day to night at an increasingly fast rate. Being here feels strange. What's even stranger is that a secret cave lies underneath the land. Entering the cave, I had been met with strange sounds. Some claim that these are the sounds of hell itself. Groaning and loud distortion can be heard as you walk through this empty, barren space. I don't know what it means, but I do know this. Time can be fast. Days move on and on, regardless of if you're ready for it. These days can be positive. These days can be negative. Whether you wake up next to the love of your life, or the echoing call of an alarm clock as you drag yourself into a life-sucking job, or anxiety enveloping school. However, despite these miserable days, there are good ones, and it's up to you to get away from those bad days, to change those bad days into good over time. It may not be tomorrow, but one day, things change. And there you have it. More entries to add to the list of places I've explored in Roblox. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to be taking a brief hiatus with the Roblox content. It's not that I don't enjoy it, it's just that I want to focus on a couple of big horror-related video projects coming up in November and December of this year. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a safe and fun Halloween, and I hope you guys will come back for the next video. That being said, this is Yoshimi, and have a good night.